What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmats Race Recap. Let's get right into the 24th race of the season at Michigan. Only two races to go before the playoffs. Today's Michigan race was certainly entertaining. The front row to start today's race was Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott. Kyle Larson getting a great jump on the start as everybody fanned out behind him trying to battle for those valuable track positions. With the competition caution coming out on lap 21, it was Kyle Larson still leading but Kurt Busch was hot on his tail only about a half second behind. With two of the favorites to win today's race, Martin Truex and Kevin Harvick struggling early. Martin Truex having damage to his left rear fender after making contact with his teammate Kyle Busch early in stage one. Everybody coming down pit road to make some adjustments and some interesting tire strategies which was going to make the restart very interesting. Danny Hamlin led the field to green after the competition caution. Unfortunately for him, he was having some radio communication issues with his crew chief which did not allow him to make adjustments on the competition caution. So all they did for their car is fill it full of fuel. Danny Hamlin did not hold the lead for long after the restart as Chase Elliott made the pass for the lead only on lap 27. We then saw our first caution due to incident of the day. The 15 car of Joey Gase hitting the wall hard, wrecking his race car. It looked like he cut a tire down. Jumping right to 10 to go in stage one. Chase Elliott continued to lead, but we had a new second place driver as Austin Dillon was in second, closing fast on the leader Chase Elliott, only down by about a half a second. Chase Elliott able to hold on to get the stage win over Austin Dillon and a hard charging Kyle Larson. Stage 2 kicks off with two Team Hendrick drivers leading the field to green, Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott, after an intense race off of pit road. Kyle Larson getting a great jump off the top on the restart. With Austin Dillon making an aggressive move, moving his way into second place. Jumping right to the halfway point of stage two, we saw the battle of the top three for the lead. Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, and Kyle Busch. After great side-by-side -side racing, bump drafting, and everything that you'd like to see in a race, stage two pit stop started with about 15 laps left to go on the stage on lap 106. With the three leaders coming down a few laps later, Kyle Busch winning stage two after an aggressive pit strategy call only putting on two tires during his green flag pit stop. As cars were crossing the line for the end of stage two, we saw some chaos happen as Austin Dillon hit the wall hard after making contact with Brad Keselowski. Ending his day, tough luck for Austin Dillon trying to fight his way into the playoffs after looking like he was going to have a very solid day. Let's take a look and see how this started. On the inside of Brad Keselowski off of turn four. Side drafting the two. Oh my. Oh, that's a hard hit. With the stunning end to stage two behind us, we knew that stage three was going to be intense. It was the Kyle and Kyle show to kick off stage three as Kyle Bush and Kyle Larson led the field to green. Kyle Larson launching himself out into the lead as for most of stage three, he stayed out in front. With 50 laps left to go in the race, we saw two teammates. Kyle Larson and William Byron battling for the lead as we approached final green flag pit stops. Pit stop starting with about 45 laps left to go in the race. As the leader, Kyle Larson, went to go make his final green flag pit stop. Fortunate enough for him, he was running out of gas, just being able to make it to pit road, and he didn't lose a lot of time. Only losing one position to his teammate William Byron as the green flag pit stops cycled through. After everybody made their final green flag pit stop, we saw William Byron in the lead as there was a three car battle behind him with Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, and Kurt Busch. All of them bump drafting, waiting for their opportunity to strike to take the lead. As we had a wrench thrown in the plans on the final stage, with about 20 laps left to go, we had a quick rain shower which caused the race to go under caution. With the quick shower gone, we had about 15 laps left to go in the race as everybody prepared themselves for a shootout. Cars going four and five wide, I was just waiting for a caution and that is exactly what happened. With cars spinning such as Joey Logano and others, Joey Logano ending his day as he had suspension damage. As we buckled up for one more restart. After an intense and crazy few laps, you'll have to see it to believe it, so I will show you a video clip right here. Green flag back in the air. Ryan Blaney shoved out front. Williams got some momentum. One last opportunity. Into three and four. Blaney has the lead. Byron goes high. Blaney's going to win in Michigan. 
getting his second win of the season. Way to go, Ryan Blaney. Well, guys, that was it for an intense and great Michigan race. Let me know what you thought about the race. Always like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you Tuesday for a Monday Night Raw recap. Peace out. Stop the rise